check out the snail. Here are the remains of Tattoo's dig kit. He's had a lot of fun in the last few hours. Pretty sure there's nothing left in these pebbles. So these are the ones that he's already cleaned. Yes, and then there's the remaining. Yeah, that's my favorite one. What's the name? Jules. Jules. Mm. Yeah, they like a lot of attention and um, that, you know? Yeah. currently driving to Ellenborough Falls which is supposed to be a really large and beautiful waterfall. This morning we've had a lot of replanning our trip yet again because we were excited because tomorrow is the 14th day of our trip which officially means we've been out of Sydney for 14 days and we can get into Brisbane. So here I am yesterday getting our border passes all went through fine and uh, booked our flights to Brisbane and I was like, woohoo, so happy I finally get to see my family. Um, so I booked it all yesterday for tomorrow. And this morning, woke up to my um, brother and my mum messaging me going, hey, guess what? We're in lockdown again. And I'm like, no. So, ah! And meanwhile, my director is messaging me asking whether I've been to Brisbane. And I'm just wondering, like, what should I answer? Yeah, so we pretty much spent the morning uh, like weighing up the pros and cons. It's like, do we bypass Brisbane and I'll just go see my Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast friends? Or if we land in Brisbane, does that still count as being in Brisbane? Um, yeah, lots of things to consider. So we'll give you an update later on what we decide. And we're off to Ellenborough Falls. This road has been fixed with patches on patches. Tattoo thought it was cobblestone. Feels like cobblestone. Yeah. Definitely worth the trip. Oh my god. Falls now. We're going down the, uh, the long walking track. It's only 700 meters but apparently there's 642 steps to get down and then back up again. So but this will take us down to the bottom of the falls.
almost there. Lovely, but it was worth the climb. And they probably can't hear anything. Probably not.